Tracker 22 weather. All right, now we want to take a look at our local forecast. Jeremy Nelson standing by with what we can expect to see already. We can tell much warmer weather starting yeah, to come in. It feels pretty good outside this yeah. evening, even if I would say in an hour or two, if you want to let the dog out, okay. you don't need a coat on, extra layers. It's in the 60s right now. That's pretty nice. Yeah, and our overnight lows tonight will drop into the 50s. And then how about this stretch of weather? Wow. Forecast highs Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, low to mid 70s here in Savannah. And that will really be for any location away from the coast. If you're at Hilton Head or Tybee, you'd likely stay a little bit cooler, maybe into the low 60s tomorrow afternoon. Let's go up to beautiful Beaufort and check out conditions there for this evening. Mainly cloudy skies could be a sprinkle or a little stray shower. This goes through 3 a.m. I'll tell you tomorrow morning you'll start probably about 51 or 52 degrees. Where is the rain at right now? Well, there's not much out there. Just a little bit of drizzle sprinkles, possibly a light rain shower. It's to the west of 95 just north of I-16. A little closer inspection. We go into Effingham County, our friends in Rincon, possibly Springfield. You could get a little bit of damp pavement that goes into parts of Jasper County right along I-95 and just to the west of there. Not much rain out there. We'll go about a 20% chance of some showers tonight. 65 degrees currently in Savannah. It feels great out there. Low 60s in Vidalia and really all across the southeast. 50s and 60s. Nice mild stretch of weather ahead of us. And tomorrow on Wednesday, could be a couple little isolated showers here and there. There's not an all day rain. If you bring the umbrella with, chances are you won't even need it, but I would at least probably just carry it with because there's a 20, maybe 30% chance of a shower. Let's move into Thursday. Same scenario, low end rain chances across the southeast. Now this front that's off to our west, that will start to move in our direction as we go toward Friday. We're out ahead of that for almost the entire day. We'll warm to the mid 70s. Late afternoon into the evening, very good chance of rain here locally across southeast Georgia and the low country. And that's mainly late afternoon into Friday evening. Keep that in mind if you have travel plans or any plans outside. How much rain the next several days? The bulk of this falls late Friday. About a quarter to half inch of rain. That would be welcome. We have a lot of dirty pavement out there from our winter storm. A couple areas that salted the roadways. Well, there's some residual salt out there. If we do pick up this rain, should help to clean off the pavement. Tomorrow's forecast now. Let's talk about our friends in Jasper County. 67 in Ridgeland, upper 60s for Hardyville. We go down to Bryan County. Maybe a little spotty shower here and there. It's a pretty mild day, though. 70 for Richmond Hill and Pembroke. Low end rain chances. And then this weekend, we dry out. Just cool down, though. Low 60s for high Saturday. About 54 on Sunday, and that looks like a suntastic day, but may need the light jacket back out. 70s for highs Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Rain chances will peak late on Friday. That front blows through, though, and then we just cool down this weekend with nighttime lows set to go back into the 30s. Could be below freezing next Monday with a couple days highs in the mid-50s. Back to you.